It's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Montana. So here's Muhammad Ali making the walk to the octagon with much fanfare. A lot of people thought this moment would never materialize. I don't believe it. You know, when people talk about the GOAT, it's always a conversation with people having opinions. Very rarely do you get a person almost universally considered the greatest of all time. That is what you get in Muhammad Ali when people talk about boxing. The guy has unbelievable hand speed, footwork, but it'll be his takedown defense that will allow for him to find success inside the octagon. We're about to find out what the greatest can do, John, in an eight-sided cage. And you're right, most heavyweights in this division are gonna test his takedown defense, but plus athlete doesn't even begin to describe it. We'll see how it goes for Ali here tonight. Muhammad Ali has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Sergey Balovic. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go, up for grabs tonight, the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. Change of the position. Ali's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Pavlovich getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep.
Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Ali. Just over two minutes to go. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off of the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants Ready to get fight. the desired finish. Ready. All right, second round underway. Muhammad Ali gets caught by that frustrating punch. Nice job by the offense there. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, not much set up behind that the right hook misses. Pavlovich going for the takedown, nothing doing there. Well, he might be working towards an attritic knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. The reach advantage has proven so beneficial. Another punch landed. Circling to his right. That hook was bad. Jab hurt him a little bit. Shot to the body now blocked by Pavlovich. Single. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Pavlovich is in half guard now. Lands the grounded pound strike here. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Oh, he postures up in a big hit strike like by that. Pavlovich. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Beautiful 
submission attempt here. It's got to be it. It seems so tight. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I got to stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Two rounds in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off. Kick the guy. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice knee landed there by Pavlovich. Oh, man, how is he standing after he ate that knee? He has absorbed so many of them in this round, and now you can visibly see some of the damage that has been inflicted by his opponent. And you can even hear the crowd now as he gets on his back. They know that the end could come soon. They know how that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. What a fight. And he eats a right hand there. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Now with it, his eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, good block there. Look, is there again. Absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this round. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Tags it with that uppercut. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside. Oh, well, he's 
able to get back up here, but oh man, is he on wobbly legs. All right, well, oh, and DC, he will appear to be in real trouble. Big right hand there. Oh. And there it is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.